foil free a claim a lake in the northeast kingdom can now make after the invasive plant was eradicated and because there's been no sign for years it looks like shadow lake in glover could come off the list of lakes with invasive species this season our sophia thomas learns how they got rid of it and whether it can be a model for lakes across the state Jennifer Andrews has spent the last 16 summers at Shadow Lake. I've always been a water person um, ever since I was just a little child, and so it's been with me all of my life. When a fisherman found Eurasian water milfoil growing on the northern shore of Shadow Lake in 2011, Andrews' summer plans became murky. It would Im impede swimming and boating. If you were to fish down there, anglers would get line tangled. To eradicate the invasive plant, infamous for disturbing native ecosystems and impeding water activity, Shadow Lake Association partnered with the Department of Environmental Conservation and local volunteers. Divers scoured the lake to locate hot spots. They installed benthic mats along these areas which block sunlight and suffocate the plant. Kurt Muller was one of those divers. Uh, a compromised lake, you know, you, you see, it, it's just a very ugly thing. You see it all spread its tentacles around. In addition to the mats, Shadow Lake Association implemented a boat washing station, planted gardens alongside roads to collect runoff, and sent out dive crews to search for and remove milfoil. The efforts worked. Shadow Lake has been milfoil free since 2017. It's incredibly exciting um, and gratifying. Eurasian water milfoil was identified in Vermont in 1962. Since then, it's steadily invaded Vermont's waterways. According to the Department of Environmental Conservation, it's present in approximately 12 percent, or 103 lakes and ponds today. Once it's infested, once it's rooted in, in, in reproducing, it's very hard, not impossible, uh, but very hard to eradicate. During the last legislative session, an annual $500,000 was set aside to support milfoil eradication efforts. The funds will take effect next summer. Until then, state officials recommend keeping an eye out for milfoil and cleaning boats before and after every use. We continue to be incredibly vigilant um, because we know at any time invasives could be introduced back into the lake. You can find more information about milfoil eradication on our website. Reporting in Glover, Sophia Thomas, Channel 3 News.